The topic of this video is finding holes in the graph of a rational function. Consider the rational function f of x equals numerator polynomial x squared plus 3x plus 2 divided by denominator polynomial x plus 2. When determining its domain, we set the denominator to be not equal to 0 and, solving for x, get x is not equal to negative 2. Thus, the domain of the function is the set of all x such that x is not equal to negative 2. Yet, when we look at the graph of the function, see below left, it appears to include a point with an x value of negative 2. How can that be? We recall that the processes for finding the domain and vertical asymptotes of a rational function are quite similar but have some important differences. When finding domain, we set the original denominator to be not equal to zero. But when finding vertical asymptotes, we set the reduced denominator equal to zero. Let's find the vertical asymptotes of our function above. When we factor the numerator, we find that x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals the factor x plus 1 times the factor x plus 2. Therefore, f of x equals numerator polynomial x squared plus 3x plus 2 divided by denominator polynomial x plus 2 can be written as numerator x plus 1 times an x plus 2 over denominator an x plus 2, and the x plus 2s cancel, leaving us the reduced f of x, which is equal to x plus 1. This has no reduced denominator to set equal to 0, and therefore our function has no vertical asymptotes. Reduced f of x equals x plus 1 is aligned with a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 1. Notice this matches the graph above. Yet, we know that x cannot be equal to negative 2, because when we plug x equals negative 2 into our function, we get that f of negative 2 equals negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus 2, all divided by negative 2 plus 2, which equals, numerator, 4 minus 6 plus 2 over denominator 0, equals 0 over 0 equals undefined. So what's going on at x equals negative 2? If there's no vertical asymptote, and x equals negative 2 is not in the domain, how do we represent that we can't have a point with x equals negative 2 on our graph? The answer is that we must put a hole on the graph at x equals negative 2, and thus our graph now looks like the one above at right. Notice the hole at the location negative 2, negative 1. Notice the y-coordinate of the hole, negative 1. Without the graph, which was provided for us, how would we know that? The answer is that we can plug x equals negative 2 into our reduced f of x. Reduced f of x equals x plus 1. So reduced f of 2 equals negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. Therefore, the whole is at location x equals negative 2, y equals negative 1, or the ordered pair negative 2, negative 1. Generalizing this observation, we have the following method for finding holes of a rational function r. Factor the numerator and denominator of r and reduce the function to lowest terms. Set each cancelled factor equal to 0 and solve. For each value of x obtained, find the corresponding value of y using the reduced r. Place a hole on the graph using those values of x and y. 